dude, the guy said a lot of um, motivational shit to me and Zerk. What? Good guy, man. This can't be real. <laughs> dude. If, dude, 2020 sucks in my mom's life. <laughs> yeah, sorry, dude. <laughs> Really busy and I was like me busy like you and Fed were you know two peas in a pod all night and he goes oh yeah like what's going on with you guys and I was like what do you mean what's going on and he the guy informed me that Fed told him that we were together when we weren't and that he told the guy not to tell anyone not to talk to anyone about it not to talk to me about it and that was the first BH. I just don't know what to do. Like, I just don't know what to do. Like, do I stop streaming? Is that the only way that people are gonna ever leave me alone? <laughs> like, it's my livelihood, you know? <laughs> And it's been my livelihood for eight years. Like, what am I gonna do? Don't listen to trolls. Just accept that you made a mistake because you are a human being. I and have, I have. Jack, right but do way. I really have to read thousands and thousands of messages every day about the mistakes I've like made in my past? The best one is is that just really what you. I have to do? You have been through a lot, you know you are loved and appreciated, don't forget that. It's like, you can't just say, like, ignore the trolls. <laughs> Okay, to show that on Twitter, okay, because guys, the battle wasn't with Ninja, but chat, chat, XQCL. Chat. <laughs> All right. Oh no no! Oh no no! Oh no no! It's it's not enough to just be like one of the good ones and be respectful of women i feel like i feel like i feel like there's always more i could have done like not just for the girls but just like when i see it happening I feel like I should have said something or said more and was more firm. And more encouraging. Okay, but I don't actually, I don't want him. Huh? I'm, all, I'm all yours. No, I don't, I don't, yeah. I don't want him. No, uh, he doesn't give eat me, burritos. Give me, give me, give me <laughs> What? Oh, you're so, you're so, why are you exaggerating? It's just I'm fun. I'm fun. You don't want to hug me? No, that's a I'm sorry. Fucking, reaction. I'm your fucking roommate, dog. What the fuck? I mean, just... I'm like your little bro, all right? Oh, you fuck, give me a fucking hug. Yeah, little Stop bro over there. Annoying, I'm over there. Dude. Give me yes, a fucking hug. Stop. No. Give me a hug. I want a hug. Frozen hot dogs. All right, I need it. All right. Me dog. Yeah, I do. I'm sad. And I think that despite all of Reckful's out of everything that he gave to us, I think at the end of it, unfortunately, he was fighting it alone. And he lost. But just because he lost doesn't mean that you have to. So what happens when a champion falls? He gave us so much. Like, I remember, you know, 
being like a 20 year old kid playing WoW and like watching his videos. And I was like, damn, that guy's awesome. Like, I wish I could be like that good at WoW. I was a fan. He was a friend of mine. And what do we do when a champion falls? Do we stop fighting? It's a personal battle and all of us have to fight it. But you have to fight it, but you don't have to fight it alone. You absolutely don't have to fight it alone. And I don't want you to fight it alone, and I'm not going to let you fight it alone. No. He ends up always kind of manipulating the truth to make himself look better in a lot of different ways. In ways that you don't really need to, you know? If your friend group, if you're like friends with someone, like I always trust Fed and whatever he says about anyone. But um, it came back to a situation where um, I found out that he that it wasn't always the truth. Um, we came out with the statement because after we had a three-hour intervention with him and seven other girls, and six of the girls all came out with stuff against him, uh, he proceeded after that day to contact the people who weren't there and kind of do exactly what we told him was the problem, which was to tell them uh, only his side of the story uh, and kind of spin it in a way where he ended up being the better person, but it's like, I don't think that's like we just had an intervention about it so it felt kind of weird I hope this like really gives people a better perspective on like how their behavior affects other people I remember whenever Etika uh, you know that happened last year and I would go to like his last like four or five tweets and it was just people that were memeing on him, looking for, uh, you know, retweet karma, looking for uh, likes on their Twitter post. And we've turned social media into this cannibalistic machine that allows people to consume each other. And this is what the outcome is. A friend I knew from WoW, he sent me a picture of his kid. And... Uh... His kid's like, it was just born. And I was looking at it, and then I, I don't, I had been worrying about random little things or like something with Everland. Like, and then I was just looking at this new living thing that he like created out of, out of nowhere. And I was, it, it just it made me think that all the little things that I was worrying about were, you know, pretty irrelevant in the big picture of, of mm. life. Uh, Would you ever want to focus kid? too much on little specifics? Maybe. You guys need to know that the shit you guys do and the shit you guys say really affects people. Okay? Like, you guys have no idea how many times I've wanted to kill myself. <laughs> How many times I've spent my entire night trying to figure out how I was going to end my life. Whatever. Easy. You seem like you aren't informed, my man. Watch this informative video to get a grasp of things, Pop Champ. Hey, YouTube viewers, Jessica Gatz here. I wanted to come to you guys today with a question I get asked a decent amount in my stream, and that is advice on being a streamer. So um, essentially this video is also just my opinion on what you can do to be a successful streamer. Success Step one, marry one. Successful <laughs> taken in a couple of different ways. Okay, so some people. Toast also sat down with Fed a year ago at this point, Toast was the only one from OTV who was aware of the incident with Yvonne and Fed, and he warned Fed about the growing concern within our friend group in regards to his behavior around girls. And this was before we all shared our stories. Um, yeah, in regards to his behavior around girls, especially when drinking, and this was before all the recent stuff. It was just like a concern that was starting to build at the time. Fed responded by getting angry at Toast and claimed to not have remembered the incident with Yvonne and he seemed more concerned with who else knew about the incident and about anything else and who had said what about him. I am sharing this 
on behalf of Toast and with his permission. At him, to the last moments we had, he talked suicide, depression, and wanting to end it all. I do not believe that it was today's comments that put him over the edge, but a much larger reason that I will not go fully into unless the family feels that it's appropriate. And to those streamers and people on the internet that claimed that the friends could do more, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You don't know the situation. You don't know what that, that he was being watched constantly, that he was being told to go to mental institutions or go to other places to seek help. You don't know the constant messages he was receiving. He constantly had people around him every day to check on him and make sure he was okay. Every day. He did this in the morning. Everyone was asleep. No one knew. And no one had a clue until it was too late. 